In a previous video, I showed you my plan on how I was going to feed data to the ChatGPT API using JSON files. The part two of that process, which I'm gonna share with you in this video, is how I'm gonna be using this uh, Python package called Beautiful Soup to scrape data and then take that data, format it, and then push that over to ChatGPT API. I got it to work. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now and I'll be sharing you how I put it together. So maybe it'll help your situation to then scrape data from websites and then pass that information over to your ChatGPT API connection. So here's a Python script that makes a magic happen. So for instance, I have to feed it the URLs, which by the way, I haven't figured out how to scrape all the pages within a directory. So if you know, uh, or you can point me in the right direction, I would really appreciate that. But for now, I need to feed it the URLs. So here we're looking at three different uh, website URLs, right? And then once it uh, grabs at those URLs, then what it does is it uh, grabs all the content from the URLs based off of the selectors that I feed it. Uh, so in this case, it's grabbing paragraphs and list from an unordered list from this ID here. So once it grabs that content, it then formats it in a way that doesn't produce any errors when you actually send it to ChatGPT API. It has to be formatted a certain way. So I had to kind of play around with that um, quite a bit. And then the cool part is that this will make the JSON file automatically. So the script will run and it'll grab the information, it'll format it, and then it'll create nice little JSON files like here. So uh, there are three files that are supposed to be created here, right? One for Moonridge, Cali, Bear Cabin, one for Switzerland, and then one for Pines, which we can see over here. Uh, so if we jump over to Moonridge, Cali, Bear Cabin, this is what it looks like. Here's the Pines uh, JSON file and the Switzerland JSON file. After the Python script is done executing, then the next step for me is to publish these new changes over to my static site. So here we are in one of the test pages. And what I'm gonna do is go to the original page where I use the beautiful soup scrape to capture the information and ask it a question. So I'm gonna ask it uh, how many square feet the home is. So I'm expecting a 900 plus square feet answer. So let me go back to the test page here and then ask it uh, how many square feet. The living space is 900 plus square feet. So let's ask it another question just for fun. Coffee and espresso is important. So let's ask it about this in particular. So let's head back here. Does it have, yes, the Alpine Retreat Cali Bear Cabin has both a coffee maker and an espresso machine in the updated kitchen. So far, I'm pretty happy with the solution. What I would like to do next, and this is just a nice to have, is to be able to identify a directory within the website and then grab all the pages within the directory with beautiful soup. It doesn't seem like that's possible, but that's something that I'd love to integrate within the Python script. And it would be really handy for this website because as I will show you in a second, if I do the search operator, it returns over 800 results. So it would be really nice to not have to copy all of the different links here. So as a workaround, what I'm gonna do for now is I'm using this extension where I can just um, highlight the different links that I wanna copy. And then from here, I'll just uh, put them into the Python script as an array. Another option that you have is to just run the script in the console. So this works okay if you're just trying to scrape uh, maybe a few sites or maybe you just don't mind doing it manually. Uh, so I went over to ChatGPT and then I asked it to create a script on how to do that uh, within the console. So I just uh, copied this and then I headed over to uh, the web page where I want to do the scraping. Open up your console and then it'll give you uh, this object right here. So you can just copy the object, create a new file, and then just paste it in here like that. 
I hope you found these videos helpful and hopefully it generated some new ideas for you on how to uh, more easily uh, grab data from the web and then feed it over to ChatGPT API. And a special shout out to Teach with Tim. He has a four part video tutorial on how to scrape uh, with Python using Beautiful Soup. I found it pretty helpful to get me started. And uh, also ChatGPT, I probably wouldn't have gotten a solution uh, that I got to uh, nearly as fast without it. So I highly recommend that as a coding assistant. All right, see you in the next video.